nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came Well, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the Trucker Rudy Show We're back at it again Yeah, we left bright and early this morning Yes, indeed we did The sun had not rised yet and I still don't see the sun anywhere, but uh, hey, at least we got daylight out and uh, now we can start videotaping again. So I thought, you know, why not start now? That's right. We are actually already in Illinois. We slept at the uh, Iowa 80 truck stop last night. Didn't really videotape anything in there yesterday because, I mean, I've, let's face it, I've shown it before. And, you can go down in my archive, got a bunch of videos there. You'll find my Iowa 80 video from there. You can go check it out if you haven't seen it. But yeah, here we are. Back in Illinois. We got about 56 miles to go and we'll be uh, in Gary, Indiana. And uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and make me a pit stop over there. That'd be about three hours of driving that I've done in total yet when I get there, so uh, maybe even a little over three hours, so uh, then I can take my half an hour break and I'll be all right. I want to go take me a shower. I really wanted to take a shower there last night, but I didn't fuel up at the Petro or TA, so I really couldn't take a shower over there, so because I didn't have no shower available, so and I wasn't about to pay for one and I'll explain that a little bit for those of you that are not truckers what I'm talking about is if we fuel up more than 50 gallons at most places then we get a free shower in Canada I believe it's 200 liters if you fuel up for 200 liters you get a free shower so I didn't fuel up at the Petro or TA because they're basically the same company so I didn't have no available shower there and if you don't have that then you got to pay 10 or 11 bucks or some places even 12 bucks now for a shower. And I didn't really feel like doing that so I figured yeah, I'll do that today when I when I stop somewhere and I'll go take me a shower. And I know the Pilot Flying J has got a new program that they introduced I think last year where if you filled up for 500 gallons a month you get uh, a shower every single day but uh, since then they have changed that without telling anybody I don't know how many of you guys are actually aware of it that are drivers but I recently noticed that they have changed it now to a thousand gallons you gotta fuel a thousand gallons a month now in order to get that uh, they call it a power shower uh, and that's where you get a shower every single day so I don't know how many of you guys are aware of it, but I did see it on the on the receipt now, and that kind of sucks, you know. A thousand gallons a month. I mean, for me, it's not hard to do, but it takes you three quarters of a month to do that, right? <clears throat> because usually I end up uh, feeling for about anywhere between 1,500 and 1,700 gallons in a month. Well, you can just imagine how much fuel we go through yeah that's quite a few liters <laughs> if you think about it that is quite a few liters but yeah that's what we usually do with trucks so I mean mine is not the greatest fuel economy truck so I know some of the newer trucks probably use a little bit less fuel so so yeah they're probably a little cheaper on fuel builds but I can still make it but yeah apparently in uh, Manitoba they got a snowstorm coming through there right now as we speak they even closed a lot of schools up there today yeah so my kids are having to stay home for today we'll see if they'll have to stay home tomorrow it sounds like it's gonna be a two-day ordeal and then right after that it's gonna get super cold they're talking about with the wind chill it could feel like minus 35 by the weekend so ooh, that's gonna be cold 
and that is Celsius, not Fahrenheit. But at minus 40 uh, Fahrenheit and minus 40 Celsius, it equals out. So, so you know it's very, very cold. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey here. And appreciate you guys tuning in today. It looks like it's going to be a fantastic day. It looks like the sun is starting to peek through over there. guys we're here at the uh, fly and hook yeah you see over there as the fuel station and all that good stuff and finally the sun has come out and wouldn't you believe it I meet up with this guy over here again I'm back yeah in the same area we met last time right yeah just uh, yeah miles. last time we were just two miles down the road right yeah at yeah. the uh, at the petrol there yeah. oh the truck's still looking good she's running good she's running like a champ Okay, okay, 7.5 today. 7.5 miles per gallon, eh? Wow, he's making money. <laughs> That's why I asked him for a loan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So, how's everything going? Real good. Going Real good? good. Well, yeah. I was out for three weeks, I actually got home for a couple days, and I came right back out, turn and burn. Turn and be burn? Out, be out until Christmas, get back for Christmas. Nice, I'm probably going to do a similar. I, I mean, if I get home, I get home, right? But, uh, you know, that's the way it is with truckers, right? We stay, that's right. We stay on the road and right. get them big miles in, right? That's right. The wife kicked us out. Go to work. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Now get to work. You got to pay the bills. 
Yeah. But I thought I could stay home if you know. Go to work. Yeah, yeah. go to work, go to work. Yeah, that's right. But anyways, nice meeting you here again. Yeah. And uh, I wasted way too much time here. <laughs> but we did have some fun flying <laughs> the drone. <Moving> around. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got some good footage, I think. Yeah. I think we got some good footage. We got him coming in here. Yeah. So we'll probably show that even, maybe even before we meet up with him. Yeah. We'll probably do that. Maybe show you coming in here to the Flying J. And, you know, yeah. So. yeah. My sexy truck here. But yeah. A lot better than his. A lot better than his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sure is. I mean, it's a lot newer too, right? I mean, look at my truck. It's okay. Doesn't look exactly new anymore. <laughs> and this still has the nice oh, shine to it. Yeah, I know. When did they come out? They came out recently? Yeah, yeah, they came out, yeah. What happened is when uh, when I did the safety and all that, when aren't I had they, my... Aren't those the twist cap? They twist like... Yeah, they, 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 they have like the, the screw on Right, they, caps, but right? they screw in. The yeah, but the what now. they did is when they... Uh, Under the stud. Yeah, when they, when they took them off uh -huh. to do the safety, because they have to take them off, they, uh, they overturned the tread. And so now I got to buy new ones. I haven't done that yet. You shoot me out. What? The, yeah. the other trucks, they should have got them right there. Yeah. yeah. They do have them, but I don't have the money <laughs> to buy new ones. You want to borrow me long? No. <laughs> My bank account says, sorry, denied. <laughs> yep. Anyways, we'll get out of here, guys. We have to continue on with our journey, otherwise, we don't make it to the master state. <laughs> <laughs> let me get, excuse me, let me get my bat out. I gotta put <laughs> All right, we'll be back after the beating. It's time to get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We have been here at this flying J and all for two hours, but it was well worth it. I took me a shower, had me a bite to eat. I was flying with my drone a little bit, and just as I was flying, I was talking to uh, Angelo, my buddy Angelo, as you guys saw in my previous right clip, East and he East said he was only four miles away from here, and I knew he was coming this direction, so I was kind of hoping that he'd get here on time so I could maybe meet up with him, and sure enough that did happen, so yeah, that's nice to see him again. I know we met up a few weeks ago, but... Uh, Always nice to see your friends, you know. And uh, he got to see my drone and me flying it a little bit. And all that good stuff. We got some good footage. Uh, we got him coming into the Flying J a little bit. And uh, all that goodies. All those goodies. And uh, so uh, now it's back to the road again. The fun is over. <laughs> We gotta get her back on the road and we gotta get some miles in yet today. Yeah, we wasted two hours in there, so we're gonna have to giddy up and go now. That's for sure. But yeah, I was standing over there at the uh, Flying J when I uh, videotaped this highway here a little bit. Hopefully that video footage will come out all right. I really hope so. So here we go, back on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put the hammer down towards Detroit, Michigan. Well guys, we are now in Michigan for a good while already. And I've just been cruising along here and looks like it's starting to get a little bit more cloudy over here. I don't really like that too much, but uh, hey, what can you do, right? But another thing that just happened to me here not too long ago was I just riding along here. I was actually on the phone with a friend of mine and just driving along here, minding my own business just like I am right now. And all of a sudden I noticed a cop there. He pulled up right beside me here real quick and slowed right down. He was right here and he leaned over into his passenger side and he was looking at me to see if I was playing on the phone or doing something, you know. And of course I'm not, right? That's not me. But uh, yeah, so he uh, just looked at me and he saw I wasn't doing anything illegal, so he kept on driving. He sped her up and went on his married way, but there's like six cops in a row. Like every drive through like you see right here, every drive through for six row at a time, out of time there, there was one sitting in there. It's like, wow, they're really working that area there today. But, but yeah, we got about 46 more miles to go and we'll be... Uh, 
on that M14 there uh, getting into Detroit area and so we'll be probably at the border here probably within the next hour and 15 minutes I would say so yeah we'll be in Ontario here before you know it I just really hope that there ain't gonna be a big lineup at the border today that would really suck I wasted already two hours there in Gary, Indiana and so <laughs> I would really like to uh, just continue on and get through the border real quick and get into Toronto if we can get in and out of the border pretty quick then I could be in Toronto probably by 7.30 quarter to 8 uh, that'd be uh, you know 8.30ish probably uh, Ontario time quarter to nine so that's still fairly early that means I could still get up and uh, get going there by seven in the morning tomorrow morning and that's when I'm available to go I just don't know if the customer where I deliver this load to is open later in the evening I don't remember I, I remember a long time ago I delivered later in the evening there and they were open so I'm kind of hoping that's going to be the same spiel when I get there tonight I know on the weekend they're not open late in the evening they're only open I think from like 7 to 4 or something like that but I th if memory serves me right and uh, during the week they're open late so I think they're open till like 10 o'clock at night or something so I guess we'll find out when we get there but right now we're just focusing on getting to Toronto even if I can't drop it at the customer I can still go down to the terminal and drop it at the terminal and just bobtail over to master steak and have us a good steak and then have a good night's sleep and then maybe deliver it tomorrow morning I still haven't gotten a reload offer yet so and usually on a Wednesday they don't really have that much so we'll see welcome back to Canada ladies and gentlemen yeah we are now in Windsor Ontario it's light drizzle up here today yeah looks like it's a little bit of rush hour right now but hey we're getting through here we just crossed the border so yeah we are back in Canada indeed we are so welcome back guys and gals and uh, we are, have already gotten us a reload yes indeed we have we're going to be uh, picking up a load at the same place as we did there a few weeks ago. And, uh, and ah, I forget the name for it. <laughs> but it's going to Illinois. It's that same load that we did here a few weeks ago. <clears throat> and it's not a bad load actually, to be honest with you guys. It's actually not a bad load whatsoever. But now we got to get through Windsor and it looks like it's... We gotta stop at every traffic light. I think it's pretty much rush hour up here now, right now, that's for sure. But anyways, we'll get through here and then we'll be in Toronto tonight. Well, it's almost dark now, so I guess we'll make it over there and we'll talk with you guys later. Well, 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 guys, it is the next morning. Yes, indeed it is. We just woke up here a few minutes ago and uh, we are sitting here at the parking lot in Master Steak. Yes, indeed. It is a little bit windy out there, but not too bad, you know. But yeah, I just went inside and used the bathroom, wash my face and comb my hair. It's starting to look like I need to get me a haircut here pretty soon, but we had us an awesome time in here yesterday. Steak was good. There was a good party going on last night. <laughs> yeah, it was fun time. This is the best time I've ever had here at Master Steak, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> But anyways, I gotta get my butt out of here. I gotta get ready to go pick up my load. So uh, we'll see you on tomorrow's vlog right here on the Trucker Rudy Show. Signing out. <laughs>